Here we have a 1958 Technofix toboggan. It's their item number 290. And this is a two model or two trolley toboggan. So technically it's a 290 slash two. They also did me the exact same unit with a one toboggan and it's a 290 slash one. The reason and the difference is obviously two toboggans versus one. As you can see here is where they normally put that but it didn't show that this is where they normally put the price. But you can see you have the original box. It's in good shape, not excellent. And you got a piece of tape here. Well, no, actually it's not tape. It's uh, still stable. That's again where the number goes. There's your box and here's the directions slash instructions. You can see it does have a crease going the long way through the long flap. That's on both sides. But the model itself is in beautiful shape, which we'll see right now. Open this up, you can see. Here's a photocopy of the original instructions, which is something you rarely see. You have the two original trolleys. One is green, one is red. And of course you have the original track, which is here. What I'm gonna do is take out the protective paper. It just prevents it from vibrating and scratching and having the paint run off or wear off. So we'll move these two. You gotta bear with me on the assembly. Sometimes this is a royal pain in the ass to assemble, to say the least. But anyways, pull it all out, put it down. I'm gonna start with a side I'm more familiar with, which is this one. And basically these just lift up and tuck in. You can see they have a little tuck in here. So that's the first one. There are six of these. All of these tabs are here and they're very important because without these tabs, it will not stay. So let me tuck in the second one. Try to. Okay, we'll pass that one to this one first. And see this one goes the opposite way. So now we have these two ends being held up. And this one should and does go nice and easy in. Okay, that's one side done. We move forward. That's another one. Another one. And this is the last one, which is also known as number one, which is the big pain. This has a dual connection. By that I mean, first you gotta get the tab in which is never easy. And then you have to lock in the incline. That just tucks in. And by pressure from the rail, it locks in. Now you can see it's, it's together now. And it's nice and sturdy on the ground. All four feet are actually touching the ground. And you can see when you lift it up, there's absolutely no rust on the bottom. It's in great shape. Nice thing is it's held together. The incline just slipped out, but that's simple. <laughs> I say it's simple. Okay. And there you have it. Now you have the two trolleys, the clockwork. I'm going to wind them all up. And these are perfectly working. And you notice that there's a lot of perforation on the track. That's this, these grooves, if you will. You find them in certain strategic locations. There's a small little one-inch section here. When you look underneath back here, there's another little one-inch section on the bottom. What that does is when the trolleys hit those areas, it kicks in the clockwork drive and propels it forward. Same thing going up the hill. You can't do it without it. And these have what's known as a clutch mechanism. Let me explain what it is. When you wind it, you see how it's, it's discharging. When you turn it upright, it stops. So basically, every time it hits any of that perforation, it engages the clockwork and it drives. It makes it go faster and then it can go up there. I wind it in this position because that's perfect. Then you put it down the ground. Then I wind up the second car. And again, the same, same design. It stops. 
Okay, I'm gonna put it on the track, going downhill. You see the arrow going forward? They both have the arrows. So obviously going downhill, so I'm gonna put the first one here, give it a little push to start it, and then I'm gonna put the second one on immediately behind it. And you can see the both trolleys, and they run the track perfectly. And there you have your TechnoFix 290 slash two. Dual trail. Oh, one catches up. One's always quicker than the other. <laughs> but there you have a perfect example of your technical 290. Thank you for your time.